All right. Okay. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to call the Marion Township Board of Supervisors meeting for Saturday, June 22nd. The order time is now 9 04 a.m. Our first item, as always, is the Pledge of Allegiance. So I'd like to ask you to rise. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the flag of the United States of America. Anyone wishing to address the board, do so by coming up to the podium. We ask that you clearly state your name and address for the record, and that uh, you sign in on the sheet as well. Um, it's the. Oh yes, thank you. Uh, just as a reminder, this meeting, as always, is recorded for audio and video, and will be put up on YouTube uh, following the meeting. At this time, I'll open up the floor for public comments. Um. If you want to make your statement, otherwise, uh, I'm planning on moving nine and ten, which is a stone crop item, right up front, and then we can just hold the tag. Okay. Okay. Uh, seeing no public comments other than the ones that we're going to put into the, the regular agenda, uh, Lisa, there is nobody on the Zoom currently. If that changes, I will let you know. Uh, otherwise, uh, first we have announcements. Uh, first is if you haven't already, get your septic system pumped and inspected. Uh, there is a list of registered pumpers that are available on the quest. Uh, we had an, edu ed to an educational meeting last Thursday, uh, which went well. There was about 35 people here uh, detailing septic care and aspects of home, uh, system management. Uh, and we are still accepting letters of support uh, around the proposed sewer. Again, just to reiterate, this is not something you have to support. As a, an ideological thing, you can support the town from trying to get grants or paying for it. Uh, we have a very nice uh, form letter produced, so if anyone needs one of those, come see the township office. Otherwise, we'll move into the main items for discussion. So I'm going to move 9 and 10 up to the front so that the nice folks from Stonecroft don't necessarily have to hang out the whole time. So uh, item 9 is the Stonecroft Pond for Fire Suppression. Um, I read you have an update on us. Yeah, so uh, Steve, we've been with you guys during the last meeting, and um, this impression is that there's sufficient tankers to bring water. So the pond is a secondary source, but there's enough resources within the community so that you really don't have to worry about fire suppression. There's adequate tankers that will come to your residence that there's there's enough water to put a a fire out so and that they could still access the pond so that's not an issue for the fire department just to let you guys know and i believe that was the conversation they had with you previously so, so from a safety standpoint mm -hmm. the the primary concern about having a wildfire river for stone cross is i'll say minimize or reduce based on the availability of tanks wildfire is different well i, I what well, okay yeah wrong yeah. Time out. Okay. Um, his, his impression is that there's sufficient um, water that they have, plus other agencies that would respond to a fire to be more than adequate to suppress a fire with, and for a residential fire. Why, wildfires completely well, yeah, 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 so wrong yeah, from now, yeah, but yeah. So, so, and I believe he gave you guys that reassurance during that last conversation we had with him. So the, the issue notification to the surrounding to participate up on yes. Yeah. 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 I, I'm sure there, there's plenty of conversation, but they still feel I, my understanding was they still feel they could draft off that pond if needed. Despite the catfish. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now it may it, 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 because they have adequate filters on their systems to account for it. Not to say that it's not going to get clogged at some point. But my understanding is that they feel that there's adequate water um, available through tankers, and if need be, they can draft both of them. But they have notified you. As far as I know, they, they, they do speak to each other what the conversations are. I couldn't tell you for sure, but they feel comfortable with what is available. Yeah, well, it should be in my room. It shouldn't be. My room. Right. But I can't dictate what they do. As far as their activities, we have so limited control what, of what, what they we, can do. What we can do is why don't we just send a letter out to the fire companies as a FYI? Right. And this is a um, service case or some sort of signage right. we can put at the 
warning yeah. on catfish. Well, warning, yeah. not warning catfish, but but potential. Yeah. Long. Right. right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's another um, whole thing that we have to address too, because that's in and of itself its own issues as far as how it comes to how the fire departments work with each other, what their um, run sheets are like. So that's another issue that we do have to address at some point. There is much better communication between the different agencies at this point, and John has been diligently working with everyone. Um, so John's a member of Wolmsdorf. He's working very closely with Marion. He's a member of Newman's Town. So our surrounding agencies are quite aware of what our current situation is. And then beyond that, the initial safety concern is, I'll say, somewhat addressed. The other thing that then we have to worry about is the fact that the plan does specify to uh, work with dry hydrants. Right. And if they are not able to draft liably, consistently, right amount of water to be able to fight fire, then it's, worth it. it's not built to plan. Right. So it boils down to what is now with the contractual agreement. And so um, if it's under contract for certain things to be in place, if they haven't adhered to that, then it becomes a legal case. Yeah. Uh, even though the deed, I'm shocked as, as you guys were to see that they deeded the property. Yeah. I was really surprised. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I think, unfortunately, it's going to be a court case over things that haven't, haven't been done. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is where we need Collins input on this, but yeah. them transferring the ownership of that, I would almost assume that's an immediate default. Um, no, because because it's different. You can still own the property, but still have legal obligations on it. Just like like uh, I work in a building that is leased, our our obligations still holds true as what we can and can't do within the building, even though we don't own the property. So so yeah. there's, there's still a yeah. contractual obligation. And so again, the column has to give us the the clear uh, line as to what will yeah. or won't happen with that. So, yeah, so my, like I'm not a lawyer here, but my thinking was if you have entered the contractual agreement as a property owner, and then you sell the property or transfer the property, the ownership changes. That. It, de it depends on what the contract yeah. says. So we'll so, we'll have more yeah, detail so, from the lawyer, but it's a weird yeah. situation. Do you have a copy of the original? Oh yeah. yeah. There's boxes boxes. Yeah, I'm sure there it does. Yeah. There's definitely a copy of her yeah. so. You made the say that there's enough people in the surrounding area. Like, what if they're not well then those things we need to fall back to that pond? Well, please, 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 please come yeah. up to the point. Yeah. And I apologize for saying you want to any 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 of this any and all of those things can happen. And no one can predict what will or what won't happen. We, we always run the risk. I mean, and the same thing in my house. There's no hydrants, there's no ponds. I have to rely on tankers coming up to my address. I'm with you here with that. Don't, right. if the pond was supposed to be fixed. So if they're going to negate the pond, well, I, I can still drag you off the pond. They can still do that. If that's not, that's not how the question. That still is a possibility. They don't have to do that, they won't, but they still can do it, is, is what my understanding is. Last time they were in Yeah, I mean, yeah. There, will, there will be more discussion right. right. on right. that particular thing. Right. It's, 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 you see a fire start somewhere, they get pulled away, and we got to use the bomb or something. No, we don't want to use the bomb. We're going to wait for the tankers to get here. That kind of a judgment call, yeah. trust me. Yeah. Right, but my understanding is, and I, and I spoke to John last night, he said, no, they could use the pond. And even during the last meeting, I was told, no, they could use the pond. I know you guys are worried about the catfish and things plugging up, but they could still use the pond. Well, they can still use the pond as long as there's water in it. That's the other thing. I mean, you're sitting in there and it's not quite a bit. So, right, you can go. And the residents in, in, in most of our community because there are there isn't a hydrant system anywhere. And so we all have to rely on tanks. So we're all on the same boat with respect to this particular argument. So but uh, beyond that, on on like the plan, oh say this and then absolutely please. Uh, the plan does specify that there's a, a pond there for fire suppression. It does specify that there's two working dry hydrants. So as far as the board is concerned, if that if that pond dries up or those hydrants don't effectively work, it's not built to plan. That's exactly what I was going to say. They they built that into the HOA for us. 
an extra security for them. And if it was guaranteed to work, they should make it work. Well, again, it depends on what the contract says. Yeah, right. Yeah. We got to let that right. make column right. into that. Which specifies the pond is there for decorative purposes or to for aesthetics. That's one thing. If the mm -hmm. pond was placed here contractually for fire suppression, that's another argument. So, but yeah. This, this is where we need it. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. We need policy. Yeah. This yeah. Yeah. So please be here first. Yeah. yeah. So if you have to be here first, then I can call them. Call them, and then we'll be here. Yeah. 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 You might need more chairs. Too. That's okay. No, that's fine. But the more the merrier. More chairs. Yeah. That's fine. Um. Okay. So the next item is still uh number ten for the bond release. This was rejected. Uh, Zone Croft had put in a request for nineteen thousand three hundred ninety-seven dollars and twenty-five cents for seventy-four. Uh, proposed concrete monument, uh, monuments. Engineer Bingham did an on site observation and found no monuments. Um, so we obviously rejected that. Uh, we did receive a letter from the DCCD that they had approved the notice of termination for the NPDES permit. It's a good development. So uh, that's for the specifically for the A field. I believe so. Yeah. I don't think this is an NPDES permit over the Otherwise, uh, most recent development that we're, we're having the, the attorney look into is that Stone Group landmark uh, conveyed all the other land that was outstanding to the HOA, kind of in a sudden, unexpected yeah. turn. So we're going to have the attorney continue looking into the legal aspects of that and what, what the options and ramifications are. So hopefully we'll have that completed for Thursday night and we'll be able to share that with everybody that's here from Stone Group. Um, beyond that, we will be looking at every single thing that is on this list and making sure that everything and anything we can possibly get involved in and help you guys address, we will. Uh, but there are potentially going to be some things that are civil matters. I think we've been pretty transparent on, on that historically. Where this is something we can do. This is something we can't do. And we have to check the people. So we're, we're happy to help. That's what we're here for. That's honestly, that's one of the better parts of this job, being able to help people when stuff like this comes up. But uh, we're going to have to take this digestive and kind of figure out what's what's what based on the the stuff that you have here. What up? Okay. Um, Greg Walters is the city of Copper Beach. Um, I, I'd like to sort of summarize what's on here as some additional information came to light to me yesterday after the this repair. Uh, the principal thing was the engineer certified the stormwater being complete. Um, said that he had copied the town in the form of the engineer on all documentation. And whenever we asked what the town had, the town had nothing. So there, there was a disconnect somewhere between the oh, I landmark would... engineer and our yeah. service is part of the town. Yeah, absolutely. And um, our issue our now, this is written up with the intent that the transfers are completed. All those things need to be claimed as far as he claims. Again, the restricted how much bond money is reduced by the police. Um, just to back up one other thing, the fire chief is kind enough to share with us run sheets that identify tankers. Sent to Stone Crawl, then share that with the uh, that's stuff. And uh, just would like to go through the, the pond issues. And uh, we basically have not seen enough water in the pond or containing water to uh, indicate that it's going to be serviceable. The concern was that the liner has failed. And since Landmark has come up with an excuse for not dewatering the pond and inspect, removing the sediment and inspecting the liner, um, this gives us great concern. And we, we wish for this uh, best we can. The infiltration percolation project, the Lake Wobe Gun, as we want to call it, um, we've been asking for documentation. And the story there is it's been all given to the engineer of 
Um, when I talked to the other engineer, uh, Wayward, in Lebanon about the physical plant, he said, oh, the parking lot is not in good repair. Um, anyhow, he is investigating some of that. Um, and we're basically saying the parking lot never got the final air course for the two roadways associated with the water treatment fire hydrant and uh, continue with the problem with the clubhouse. Um, we've had issues on the roads with some of the cat spaces starting to collapse inward. Um, and it appears to be just an interface between the cat spacing and the cover. But we can't have those things fail. Uh, Dan started taking some pictures of about being at uh, an ability to lift the grace. Um, it's a little bit more hard with the Yeah. If you need to get an inspection, then we would assume that your engineer would not approve of do that inspection. We can approve the windows to come in. We have pictures. It's an issue to Colin oh, and, uh, and Mike at this point because if those roads were dedicated, then there's not much that we can do if the bond was released on those items. So if it's still under contract or under, um, it's, it hasn't been released, then, then that's something that we could work on. If it has already been released, and it, it's over and done, but there's nothing that we could do becomes a private matter. Yeah. The documentation that they can supply lists all of the roads in that document. And now, oh, if they've already released them, so they need to be in that document. So we're saying that release with that document. Um, so there, there is a difference between conveyance and completion from a bond standpoint. So I know before I was on there were some sections of the road that did have bonds release because they had tweeted it and it got inspected. Whether that's right, wrong, or different, I won't, I won't comment on. But there is a difference between them closing out the bonds and then conveying the ownership over. Well, a lot of this roadway was just the stuff was the stuff that was just now finally paid. And that's where it's shitty, bro. Yeah, it's the new road. Yeah. And we're saying that, okay, we that some of the older stuff can't say much on. Yeah. And uh, there's there's other issues like um, the street signs. There's 15 street signs that are deteriorating to the point that the weather is falling. Yeah. Now, yeah, the town engineer at one point said, well, you got to realize the folks within this spawn, and we're saying Landmark originally agreed that this project was going to be a benefit uh, 2014. Through their means, whatever it was, they didn't finish the project. So now you're dumping on the Ace of Ray the fact that they didn't finish their job. Yeah. And we're saying, I've got. 15 street signs have deteriorated to the point that they're barely budget. There's another one, William Pat. There's 15 of those signs on some of them, typical posts, other posts where the sunlight hasn't gotten them. But they're on here in the list for the, one of the issues. Um, we had a continuous problem back. Uh, on Lot 36, where dead trees in the uh, Lot 215 area in a, a major shed, and we asked Landmark, please have them removed. And we need to do this before we get a, a lawsuit from a resident who's because the tree is out of the HOA. Yeah. So, uh, screen is water conditions, uh, drawings and documentation. With all that they've done, all the plans and all of the references in the legal documents that came through refer to a 2014 submission 
which is basically the 2004 plans as being the basis for what they're certifying those things to be complete to and just starting with the cost of it. It's not the case. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get a scanned copy over to this uh, to the engineer and, yeah. and the attorney right away. And like I said, we'll go through all the make sure what can be yeah. done will be done. Oh, um, you know, if you guys have on a problem, um, yeah, yeah, if you're getting, yeah, you know, why do you think we're not getting big suit actually? That's what I'm looking for. I would be honest that they would probably still see. Oh, uh, that's just the easiest way to prove that if they say, I'll just have us forward, uh, have to forward one of the emails to the township office because in, in the email history, you'll see that he was included as a CC. And if it was SCE, we can go back to SCE and basically give him what the hell. But I have a sneaky suspicion nobody told the other engineer that our, our engineering changed at some point and they just completely missed the photo. That's yeah. that's my my that my theory. So, but yeah, you know, their oversight or he's oversight. So I'm not quite sure how to answer that. Necessary. Yeah. But both Chuck and Mike have talked to Sony. Thanks. So. so if Sony hired them, yeah. maybe it just went out and done. I know Chuck is. So I know for yeah. I don't know about Mike. Yeah. Proximity. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure he did too. But bottom line is, Sony Sony group knew about it. So if they hired another engineer and they gave them the incorrect engineer contact information. That's not on you guys. It's not on us. That's that's so for not providing the correct information. Arch Fisher and Matt Fisher seem to be intimately involved with the percolation infield project. So um, he was very defensive when I talked to him about so what about these loose ends and. His response was the town engineer got everything. With the infield percolation project, I actually had talked to Chuck several times about that, and we were not being copies on that. We were in the dark. They were going directly to Berks County. Uh, well, that's, that's part of the problem. Is yeah. that everything they communicated to Berks County was copy. Yeah. And it's, it's again, it's a he said, she said. Yeah. I saw situation. As a matter of theory goes, I would guess that if they were to forward us one of those emails, they probably have to find it and copy. That would, that's my kind of semi expert assessment. On that. But um, I, I wrote down the gentleman's name for RJ Fisher. And I'm going to ask that our engineer reach out and kind of try to close that, that loose end there. I would request that he request of them. Records of all documentation. Yep. And that's that would be the next step. Yeah. Uh, I could make that request, but I don't care. Uh, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We, we will get everything forwarded to Colin and Mike and see what things we can help you guys out with. Okay. Uh, anything further? Yeah. One of the, you just want to repeat what you told me. Uh, oh, yeah. So Thursday night, uh, we pulled the outstanding bond amount. Um, we probably just have Mike do that because they have records and all that. Uh, but to have that ready for Thursday night, that way we can provide expressions of stone across that the exact picture of this is this bond, this is what it's for, this is the amount. It's this bond, like, well, I mean, we. It, it auto increases. We don't we don't adjust that. Every once in a while, I think it was 2016, they did a recalculation on it and an adjustment, but it hasn't been done for a couple of years. And that's not a that's not a common thing to be done. Like it's not an annual thing. Um, it'll increase, but if there's a really weird situation, you'll go through a new recalculation. Um, I do want to say that it was during COVID, 2022. Okay. Um, we had asked the engineer to look at it, and he did a, a calculation specifically on like the street stuff. And he felt that the street, uh, the bond for the streets at that point was sufficient to satisfy any of the outstanding items. So there was a little bit of review on that, but we didn't do a top down on that for quite a while. I mean, there was bond money who did it. Repeat for the old streets. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, and that's where we need to just, we need to get the, the total amount. That is a, um, a an annual increase thing where if it goes up by a certain percentage automatically if it's still sitting there. But whether that keeps pace with, with inflation or not, I, I wouldn't be able to say. We would have to do a, an exercise on that for current costs versus projected costs. We can certainly have a discussion around that. But I think step one is let's get everything laid out nice and neat and tidy. Here's what the bond is. Here's what it's for. Here's the amount. That way, you know, we know, and then we can start trying to dig into some of the things that you have on that. So, Alex. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so yeah. um, I'm sorry. Yeah. It, it's easier for the thing. Uh, now, there's been no request to release bond money for all these things that's in deed, right? The only request that we got was for the minus, which we rejected. Right. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can do this, but can if they do it, and you put all of them, we get these questions answered. Can we put things on hold for things that aren't SAPs? Well, yeah, we, we yeah. actually, I think it's pretty clear. Yeah. yeah, so we don't necessarily have to put it on hold, we have to review and make sure that whatever the request is is satisfied. So if they say we, we owed you. Uh, an orange, orange lollipop, we've given you an orange lollipop. Okay. We have to release the bond money. We are legally obligated to do so. Even if there's conjecture against them satisfying what they say they did. Correct. We would have to send the engineer out. We don't take their word for it. So we would send the engineer out, and again, use the lollipop analogy. If they say, yep, we put a lollipop at two to go court, the engineer goes out and says, yeah, there's a pop at two to go to court. It's orange. Okay. I'm not in the bowl, but I can see where this is going with that. What if, okay, we're, we'll take civil action. Would yeah. the bond be released? You'd have to go get it back. Or would you hold the bond so until the court action goes? So it wouldn't be, the civil action wouldn't be related to the bond. Right. The bond money, if if they satisfy the terms of the contract, bond money would be released from the escrow. Okay. Then if you guys civilly went and sued, that is kind of a separate separate stream. Okay, so they're not tied together. Yeah, that's right. Not Again, I'm looking into the crystal ball because I see this stuff going on down the road. But if they just decide they're walking away, they're not going to fight this. If it's the bonds are half a million bucks, yeah, half a, whatever. It's not worth it because it's going to cost us more to fix it than it is to just walk away. We'd rather have it. So then you guys got to go after them for the default on the bonds. Where we would need to talk to the attorney about the, the best course of action for defaulting in a situation that was insufficient. And hypothetically, again, if there wasn't enough money, you, you would get the bond fix. Let's just throw that there. Yeah. You would get the bond, bond fix. And there's not enough money to cover. You would go back into the landmark. Again, it's a question we have to ask. I don't know the nuances of that, but that's very much an attorney's question. And I, yeah. I would I would say there's there would be some legal avenue that we could take because of their uh breach of contract mm -hmm. in that sense. But again, I can't say definitively not a lawyer. Okay, so that's fine. And well if if they money. would the fault walk away, yeah. does that do anything to their bond rate? They went oh, yeah. get more. Oh, that so generally speaking, it's like an insurance policy. If you fall in a bond, you're going to have a hard time getting uh, additional or future bonds issued because you're at risk. Okay. You know, they don't want to give you bonds if you're going to default. Kind of thought that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If you can find out the answer to that other ones, I mean, I think I know. Yeah. Yeah. But well, see what your term says. I, I asked one, I know what that meant. I just want to see what you were. Yeah, so no. we'll, we'll have Colin be able to comment on that person. Yeah. Right? Is that the lawyer? Is that the engineer? Colin is the lawyer. Okay. Mike is the engineer. Okay. Both of them are aware. Dan sent me over a ton of information and yeah. uh, the law well, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're we're gonna help you navigate this as best we can. But as a as a preface, there are going to be some things likely that are civil matters in the nature. Oh boy, I said I get down the road. Okay. Yeah. Anything else on that? Or? No, no, you guys have such a headache. Yeah, yes. that's yeah. Okay. yeah. It, it just sounded the blue. You get this. Yeah. yeah. I know. I was surprised when you said that they needed everything. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You could do that. So again, like, there's, there's so many what ifs, and there's so many parts to it. It's yeah. just not a clear cut answer. I was surprised you have to take it. 
Well, you're, there is a, we actually asked about this previously. There is a section in the agreement that the homeowners association has with the stone development group where at whatever time they can essentially unilaterally, you've already, the, the HOA has pre-approved conveyance of yep. the properties. Yeah. So it, it becomes a single party thing that they just go, yep, okay, here you go. And, but we thought with the reports that he, he said that they tried to get that first. Yeah. And one was the receiving party thing is after we agreed to sign to it and have shot down legislation. Yeah. So I've got an idea developer kind of like that. Yeah, I, I have a feeling to do, and I'm sure that was probably heavily lobbied. Mm -hmm. I had to guess. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much for coming out. See you all. Thank you. See you next time. Yeah. Well, I hate things. They've all seen the the needs of the community. At what point do you say, okay, you said that, I say this. On September 15th, you're going to complete hours and give you a list of them. You haven't got anything as that to build. Right? No, we haven't got anything as built. And again, this is an engineer question, but my understanding of that is we don't have the legal legs to stand on to do a like deadline inspection. It is a you guys have a plan, you have to carry out an update or renew, or in the case of SPDS permits, you have to file. There's things that you have to do, but at some point you will say, hey, it's done, come take a look. It's like uh, if you had a, let's say you put in a shed in a house, craft codes wouldn't come out and say, on July 1st, I'm coming out and inspecting it, it better be done. They wait for the, the push request from you to say, hey, my shed's done, Can you come out and take a look at it. And unfortunately, we're in sort of that same situation with this project. We can't force the end. Okay. Other considerations for funds beyond laws. In the very early stages of the plan, this went to the plan in the township four times before the plan being printed. But early on, series one plans or series two plans, maybe it was series three plans, I don't know, but they were rejected on the premise that they had enlisted the engineering funds that are necessary for the township to super. I would have to look back at that. Yeah, and, and I'm not, I haven't done that homework. I apologize. But that, oh, it's okay. Um, that needs to be done because I think you need to go back find any of the three of you. Like I said, I think in 2015, there was there was a, a bond analysis done. Because I remember reading through that at one point. And forgive me for not recalling that. That was several years ago that I, I read through that. But there was actually a review of all the open bonds and if it was able going to be able to satisfy the work. And at that time, the answer was yes. So there are several big rocks. They rock on that. The yeah, was, yes. Yeah. And I'm not saying that's not the case, but I'm just saying that it, it was done a while ago. The answer was yes. But that's not something that has been done since other than the auto. Increases. And the opinion that you can't give them a suspense, did that precede something like this? Um, because when you say you're done, yeah, well, so that's that's the question though is we have to have common way on it. Does that actually legally constitute being done, or do they still have the ability technically to come in and finish something up? So that that's really where the dividing line is. That is did they did they walk away from it, or are they just doing things a little out of the norm? So that's that's where we need the attorney on Thursday night to really lay down the law yeah. in, in essence. Um, this is the situation. This is what the law states. This is what it means in this situation. Was there a building for 218 Sweet Bridge Lane in the last 30 days? Um, not in the last 30 days. I don't know. Yeah, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, don't get from that. Yeah. See if there was a yeah. cause. Landmark went in and took the siding all off of that house. With yes. defective materials, um, replace those and then sign it again. And I don't know if they did that or not. So they, they did. did they do the whole house? I don't know. Because the they're signing much like roof work, there is a percentage that is considered just mundane repair, like with a roof, for example. If you have the part to get it. Okay, so I mean, it, 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 there could have been there could have been something in there that if it was below a certain percentage of the. the the facing of the house, and it's okay. Like I said, I remember the roof went off the top of my head. Yeah. That's recently for the roof. 
If you have 20% of the area, whether it's stacking, shingle stone okay. count, in this case, yeah. like there may be some weird thing inside it too, but if you're replacing only 20% of the roof decking, you don't need a permit because it's considered just basic deviation. If you're redoing the whole thing, then yeah, you need a permit. And it may be like that with the site, we have to ask. But you can bet it would be 60% 60, 60 of the public. Yeah. Both sides. Okay. Front and back out, we decide, you know, it might be a long minute, but not much. To our knowledge, they have not approached any other property owners to inspect to see if the faulty material extended past that. That's an address for Davis to it. To it, a lot. Yeah. Um, it belongs to the hockey, both Curtis and Donna. Um, but they haven't approached any other neighbors to inspect that. If that was faulty materials, was it just material for that? I don't think Neymar buys materials. No, and, and unfortunately, again, I'm not a lawyer, but that almost sounds civil in nature. That it is. You would have to homeowner. Yeah. When I get in contact with them, to say, hey, this needs to be inspected because like, my house was built at the same time. I probably have the same yeah. kind of material. That's mm -hmm. not something that we have on my no. floor, most assuredly. Right. It's not something that we can work space to plan. Yeah, that's 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 that wouldn't fall yeah. under the engineering funds. No. 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 So that's a, that's, so that's not like a right. road or stormwater or anything like right. that. It's, it's a product issue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so you've got my name. Yeah, you can just do it. You're not a B. And uh, it's just when we go back and listen to the minutes, we, yeah, we need to know. It's 198 Street Perch Lane. Got it. That's all I have for Thank you. Thank you. Nice to you. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, everybody can stay cool. Good. 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 Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try to set a landscape record on the rest yeah. of the agenda. Yeah, oh. I guess just the cool the, the professionals that you have in your development, don't you have a bunch of retired players? You got everything else for you. I'm going to see Philadelphia or we go against her. Pittsburgh or we go against I think they did just a little bit. It makes a lot of sense. Yes. Yeah. First item on the agenda is the Act Five Thirty Seven. A special study was submitted to the PADEP, uh, and this was approved on April 30th, 2024. Uh, there were comments added in there that the approved project will require a water quality management permit, the construction and operation. Uh, approval does not, uh, for this, does not approve uh, the design. They just have to ask the furnished at a later time. And that other DEP permits may be required for construction. So, so no further updates. Just, just as an aside, but if anyone's interested today in the trench progressive class going on, uh, that's being held at the Green Acres Lawn Care, and that's in uh, Newman's. Uh, there's going to be a, another class um, on July 13th for the second part of that component. And I just mentioned that because trench progressive uh, class being says specifically to help us with the um, placement of the sewer. And I guess I was under the misconception of trench to constitute something as shallow as 24 inches. Yeah. So we all think five feet, but you know, over this large pit. But John said no, it's 24 inches is what constitutes it. So John's working with Marion and Mon and all the adjacent um fire departments. There was a sign-up sheet. They had 50 guys that came out last night to the um the classroom component and they're out there today. Um and um as of we he has the name of the gentleman who has dedicated equipment, money, and food to this. So I'd like to send a letter of thanks Absolutely. Um, to that gentleman for um, uh, doing all that for the township. So, yeah, yeah. big go. Uh, big thanks there. Yeah, big thanks there. Um, I guess it's like a half million dollar piece of equipment that he rented at his own expense to dig the trash. That's yeah, and then his other providing food, no cost to the township. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Definitely a nice thank you. Yeah.
Next, the sewage management program, uh, C2C, was out surveying uh, beginning of May. The annual on lot maintenance meeting was last Thursday, the 20th, and we had a pretty good turnout. And I unfortunately was not able to be here, but uh, I'm going to pass. There were about 30 here. It's good. That's a much better turnout than I was expecting. Okay. Next is the proposed new building. Uh, we had met with Olson Design Studio around the plan. Uh, and then we're going to be meeting with Senator Casey's office about some discretionary funding and COVID 19 corporate grant compensation funding that is possible. Yeah, and the user's office. And, and yeah. The user's office is coming in Monday. We don't know if he's going to be there himself or just representative. So, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, and then we'll work on the better detail. Yeah. Yeah. A lot to reschedule with AC. Yep. And We've gotten very, very positive feedback so far that everyone's interested in helping us out. And I guess that, uh, uh, as, as we've all known, it's pretty hot this week. Yeah. And we had, and now it's still hot in here. She turned the fan. Right. Yeah. 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 So, so, yeah. so again, if we oh, had this or any of the yeah. yeah. If we had a newer facility, we would have had adequate cooling and we'd be able to open it to the public in situations like this where we could have people come down during office hours. Um, it's, it's certainly better if you're yeah. outside. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. So, so. Yeah. I think it's just a warning. Yeah. Yeah. The next one, I have some comments for this too. Okay. So, the segue to that is the future plan. We want to develop a, a five to 10 year breakdown uh, broken into three principal categories of uh, beautification, efficiency, and capability, and start trying rate projects that we effectively do uh, sort of in order. Um, certain things may have dependencies, certain things may cost more money, certain things may be grant dependent. That way, we kind of lay them all out and use mm -hmm. that as our, our guidelines for how we progress in the next five to 10 years. So, the so on that note, I did reach out to the high school. Um, I asked Lisa if she'd be willing to uh, participate with me. We we're going to try to have a uh, meeting. I was sent an email. I sent a meeting with one of, I think, believe she's a guidance counselor as well as some of the teachers at the school to see how we get the high school students involved. Um, one aspect is the idea that Kimberly gave us so we could start scanning in some documents that we have upstairs. Not the, not the township documents, the historical stuff, the photos and all that stuff. So we could come up with a display that it was just such a brilliant idea where we could have on display a lot of the images as well as uh, even pictures of the items that we have up there so we can have it on the screen. We could create seasonal displays if necessary. So we have it on TV where, where, where people coming into the building can see that. And again, that could be a feature in the new building too where we have these displays because the amount of material that we have may be too difficult to display in all at once. So on that note, there is a grant that's available to work with external documents. I printed that up at home, and I did make a brief mention to uh, Kimberly about that. And I asked her um, if that's a project we could work with the high school students, have them get involved in the grant process. And so there may be up to $5,000 that we could work with with materials. So I need these, I need to speak to the school to see if we get a committee of students that would be interested in helping out with that particular project. Um, and again, because some students may be under the age of 18, I'll go get my specific travel clearances and nieces willing to do that as well. So that we can work with all these students. On that note, um, the school usually runs an internship. I can't recall if it's like one hour a day or one hour a week. Uh, again, I need clarification from the school so that we can have a student come in so they can kind of learn how government operates. But again, it's work that maybe at least can help delegate them to get involved and, and to do things. So um, that's that's what I've been working on a little bit lately too. Um, but it, it's, it's exciting and it's nice and we need that outreach. The other thing, the other uh, portion of that is um, what are young individuals interested in? What can we do to retain people in this community, how this community continue to grow um, and have people continue to want to live here. And I think we need to reach out to our younger population. These, these individuals that will soon be 18 and soon have voting power, what can we do to keep them here? Now, obviously, we don't have any attractions like restaurants or, or other activities, but we do have outdoor stuff. And as we progress and we're able to do the park, 
hopefully making the park a destination, having beautification as far as the sidewalks go. We, we could create things, but the other part of it is creating programs here. When I spoke with some of the other guidance counselors, we were telling you that Warmersville Library um, does a lot of youth programs. They have good retention rate. So I don't want to overlap what um, any of the libraries are doing. I'm going to reach out to all the directors between Warmersville, Robertsonia, as well as uh, local store. And then the last part of this that my friend just absolutely jumped on, um, I don't want to come back to it, um, but uh, but there's there's a lot to do and get involved with with our high school students to, to get them active in our community, get them participating in the meetings, get them uh, to participate in, in some of the stuff that we have currently going on now and are currently going on in the future. Uh, another component of one of the grants that Kimberly had uh, that we applied for was uh, education and community outreach with uh, computer education. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to phrase it. And I had spoken to myself about it, but again, maybe it's something that we can have a bunch of the high school students who can involve to um, getting that on board, where we can we, we can start with as soon as they have something in place. Well, we have education sessions. Mm -hmm. We post online. So this is how you start with the computer. This is how you access the internet. This is how you do search. Breaking it down to like 30 minutes uh, sessions for community education. And then the other part of the grant was access to telehealth. Now, again, it's this is not an ideal situation if we had some of you said, I don't know how to use my computer, I can't get to the doctor's office because of X, Y, Z. We could say, come to the, the office here, we could set everything up, have the doors closed and have their privacy. Again, in the new building where we have some separate private offices, we can have those private telehealth visits. So again, this is another project that I think we can have the students come up with an education program, come in and implement it. So they're getting their community service and something but it's resume built with this. I participated with Mary Township. We created this, you know, education session and we reached out to the community and we did these sessions. So I don't know, you know, we'll have a lot of bites, but again, it's something that we need to start doing in order to comply with some of the grant requirements. And, and I and I think we may have a lot of eager students to do it. Okay. And I think you know, they need they need things. They do, yeah. they do. Uh, yeah. Ryan is a high school teacher at Conrad Wise. He's a civics teacher, so there's a yeah. Ryan. Okay. I'll, I'll make yeah. that yeah. I don't know if it's high school, yeah. but he'd probably be willing to shanghai some of his students into doing yeah. that. They'd probably be interested in yeah. doing it too. So. Yeah, and, it, and it's a different opportunity. I think it's a unique opportunity. Um, you know, I, I don't know if they have any other townships that reach out to them and say, hey, this is what's available. So. Why not get these people up? Because again, they give us a different perspective. When we spoke with Melissa, she's like, no, the school has, has scanners. I'm like, what is that? They have these high tech scanners that they could take our materials, scan it through, and create that program so we could have that display of the photos. What we have. Yeah. Um, and, and I work together with other community resources. That's that's part of my goal with this. So yeah, yeah I think that fits nicely into the kitchen. Lunch. So that or even making the dinner, depending on the phone programs, work obligations to see what we could come up with and brainstorm some more. Right. Sounds good. Okay. okay. Uh, one of the other things that was on here was the speed humps. Maybe we should talk about that briefly. Yes. yes. Uh, I saw the preliminary stuff that Mike sent back. Yes. I think it looks good. Yeah. Um, so what this would do, say this for anybody, there's two people in the audience, anybody watching on the YouTube. Um, this is essentially a speed bump that you take and you stretch way at people. Yeah, it becomes a long flat item that you have a little bit of an up and then a little bit of a down again. And they are shown to help reduce speeding because you have that initial bump and then you have the other bump. Um, but they're not as uh, prone to damage or anything like that with the speed bump or plows or anything else because of the very, very gradual nature of the, the speed bump, the speed tape. So I want to talk to Mike about that on Thursday night, but I think that, that looks promising. The other nice thing is they're not situated at intersections, so it will not interfere with the other intersection by these we have. So I looked at it also, and I like those in the yes. plan, um, yeah. and I've driven what road is that? It has a one? Oh, I see a clipping on it. Yeah, um, Ryland Road. Yeah. Ryland Road has a chasm already. I drove the road. I like the idea. Yeah. I'm in 100% support. 
I want that and the challenge coming in. Well, that wouldn't be a bad idea either, but yeah. I don't know with the material that's black top of has to be created. So that yeah. would be done a little differently, but it would be good to maybe do one out of that. We can ask. Yeah. Uh, one of the other things, and I, I don't see there being a problem based on the input in the email, but there are certain set the facts. I'll say that if you have a driveway, yeah. you need a certain number of people yeah. driveway, yeah. things like yeah. that, that depending on where on that stretch, we may have to, to be open to some other options facing the back yeah. of the yard schools, own driveways. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and, and if we, they could be, we have signage to indicate that they're present and we need to paint our crosswalks, crosswalks much more brightly and, and so that people understand that there's not a bomb that's missing. Yeah, we the bomb is down. Yeah, they're getting a wooden trailer. When they make that swing, they're getting a wooden trailer. When, yeah. when, yeah. when that was done, it was done in a, a square. So you got one crosswalk here and you got two here, right? Yeah. And the same thing down there, right? So unfortunately, I think so. When you have those crosswalks, if, if you just look at this paper here, you got one under, you got these two going yeah. like this, right? So you put it here, the guy comes in, he hits it. Put it here, guy comes over, he hits it. Really, in reality, these crosswalks should have run away. This one, there should be a sign here, and then maybe this crosswalk would have been the crosswalk for a cross the whole entire Main Street shouldn't have been combined with, with this one. Just because of just because of that turning radius. Yeah, so I, I don't disagree with you on the turning radius, but crosswalk do have a certain required place. Okay. And like typically, yeah. unless you have a cutout for like a wheelchair ramp, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, and that falls into that ten dot setback. If it's like twenty five feet, like no parking here to work. So then that tells me then we should put maybe a permanent sign on each side, yeah, or something about the center one here, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Because I see it all day, yeah. and actually. With them moving that thing so many times, when I was out working on my truck, not that I should be doing it on the street anyway. They would move that down either way beyond yeah. or way before which is on either side of the street. And I'm not going to look at my truck. So and these guys are trying to miss the sign and almost hit me one of them. Front of my house. So. They're also not painted very well. Like I'm like, there's a crosswalk there. I'm like, oh, I see each line. But to me, visually, it doesn't need to be so we want the zebra. Right? We want we want it to be brightly indicated whatever within whatever kinds of recommendations we needed, painted adequately, we need signage before enhancing. Crosswalk ahead, please slow down yeah. and and go from there. So I mean, we just are going to kill people in this community. But what happens? The thing that thing is, they don't listen to sign. Yeah. You can only do as much sign as sign as you want. But I think between speed tables and and noting that the crosswalks are ahead and the color change, I think maybe people will say, oh, okay. Well, we'll have yeah. to look. We could do those in yellow. What we could do is there. Uh, I don't know if yeah. right either, but yeah. there is the like really, really, really super reflective paint. We have to check with the engineer and see if that's permissible, but yeah. we could potentially do the, the cross section in the yeah. high visibility. Yeah. So we'll, we'll talk about that. But I mean, whether we do it, we get somebody else to do it. Right. I mean, we're at a point all right now yeah. with the speeding in the tent, yeah. right? And there are so many kids out. I don't care what traffic study people say. There's one kid on the sidewalk a day. That's absolutely crazy. Um, and there's so many bicycles, kids on bikes in the town. I actually, even with the sign there, I've seen a kid almost once every month get hit there. I believe it. Exactly. Yeah. Right. That's a side I, was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I can show you data like, I was sleeping. Now. I'm super disappointed if we didn't find crap. Stop yeah. Like, that would have been, Ideal. Yeah. Yeah. But we would have lost like eight firms based on the history. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's that's why I mean, you're out here very big. So if they're in between the intersections, and I'll have a map for Thursday night, I don't have it queued up here. Yeah, we have there's a drawing that was sent to the engineer here is a drawing, but they're they're not like crazy long, but they're not the speed long. Well, where did you um in between a bunch of the blocks? So I believe one of them was in between uh Marion. Or not Mary, excuse me, um, Water Street and Church, about halfway, give or take, like before uh, the alleys start happening there. Uh, the next one was further down, like if you're going towards like the 422 uh, triangle. And then there was one up, I want to say it was right at the 
the, like the, the triangle near Brian Haybaker's house was like right after that. Because that stretch between Malcolm yeah. and Peaks, they thought a little worried about the concrete people. Well, people you know, people fly there too. I have <laughs> I've personally seen it. They can fly with yeah. Them. People, yeah, and that's where they have to fly. Yeah, my question that I have is why is this speed limit sign not running? So, and not we, we place those so that as you were entering town on either side, you made aware of your speed as you were entering town. If you're anywhere in town, so we were one block off. The reason we did that is so that it was on the right side of the road catch the cars correctly so you would see it and it wouldn't be in somebody's like front wall. That's, that's the that's the methodology we went. I'm not opposed to relocation at some point if there's a better idea. Always open to better ideas, but that was where we could put it. That wasn't like way past like as you start to yeah. come up the hill or in somebody's front. Wall, so they didn't do it in some way. Um, next is the proposed long-term rental inspection. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. Yeah. I uh, yeah, that's okay. So, uh, let's see, it was 2019, 2020. We had that uh, study done. It's all popping up. It's the joint open spaces. Joint open spaces. We did that, and Sue was looking for the booklet uh, for me. Um, we need to have a playground equipment maintenance uh, schedule. We need to come up with that. Within that, there was recommendations on what to look for and agencies that, um, trying to think of the language I'm trying to think of, how we can, best practices to implement with playground equipment, because there are guidelines and recommendations. So I can honestly say, I think we have all dropped the ball with this because we've been plugging holes with so many other larger issues, quote unquote, but to ensure the safety of our, our People that are using the equipment we need to get right back on us. So we're going to look for that uh, documentation. We're going to review the materials that are in there. We need to come up with a playground maintenance schedule. We need to start routinely inspecting the equipment and maintenancing it. Um, I personally, I don't think we're going to be purchasing, or I wouldn't recommend purchasing anything new for now because the goal is to get everything done between the park and the building. And, and unfortunately, I think a lot of the stuff that we have will go uh, because it doesn't meet current standards. And we, even if, if we look at it now, if it doesn't meet current standards, you know, we may have to eliminate it and consider replacing some of the items. And the newer stuff we could obviously move when yeah. we, we redo things. So I mean, ideally, yeah. we, we, if, if we replace anything with the playground before we do the building, we do it with the intent of not having. Putting it in its, its well, we, but, this is a huge project yeah. and we're going to need stormwater management. There's going to be, I might guess, a lot of regrading of that property because we want to position things where, where there's easier access and more usability. Because how it is now, I don't necessarily think it's the most attractive thing, um, but we need to create a flow throughout the park so that you can access each area. And it, it's a nicer place to come to. So um, once I find that material, because I think I have a copy of it somewhere at home, we're going to um, have to implement some routine inspection of the equipment. I would love to see a walking track. So that's yep. it, yeah. move, move in the ball field. Yeah. 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 In, in, in the MTCA's plan that the party in here have got and donated, that was one of the components was there was a walking track, there was a small area for like fitness related things, right. and the playground, and it was the all big. But that now is going to change because yeah. we're putting a building yeah. there. Well, so yeah. The premise is yeah. that we still want yeah. to have a walking track. I think it's a great idea to have that. Yeah. Actually, yeah. We should yeah. utilize whatever land we own where all these trees are. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and the other thing I would like to say is so we have people coming and playing baseball. Right. Yeah. Those bleachers on those bases, we need to replace. In my opinion, are not safe. Whether we put in a bus, we could put. I would suggest putting cement pads under them. But now we need to figure out if that's where we're going to keep the ball field. So bleachers. Well, we're going to have cement padding. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
getting the whatever that could be some features itself aren't bad. They're fairly so you can get bleachers. Our bleachers are in good shape, but but you can get bleachers that are set in holes that are concrete in the ground. Yeah, they should be on everything. They should be more permanent. And now we have with these baseball games, you see them fall and they're sitting on rotted four by fours or six by sixes. Yeah. And I'm just thinking Jesus. So Jeff, yeah. if if you want, um, probably in the fall would be when I have availability to do it. That's something that you, me, and Butch or whoever else, we take them off the things, we dig it out, we get concrete delivered. Mm -hmm. uh, we got asked that we do whatever we need to do. Yeah, and that's that's not that complicated. Yeah. But now the problem is, is if we're not going to want to add concrete, if we put a building and we need to move the ball for the pin or something, yeah, well, that's the so, so, so we're not talking house players. Yeah, you can we can always we can, uh, yeah. So you with the John Deere big loader, we yeah. pick up the concrete. It's basically we're making a lintel that you could just take out and move. Okay, so we need to put some sort of. Rebar and then it's yeah. so yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Like, so we're not talking yeah. but we are talking it's basically just going to be a concrete slab and some rebar. And does our concession stand have any electric or anything? It does. It does. So that's electric. No, yeah. it's, yeah. Okay. Because I would love to see that have some sort of water added to yeah. it. Yeah. Or, or maybe even a better, better one put in because I, you go to all these games out in the outskirts yeah. of Reading or, or, or Valley or and they're selling hot dogs and burgers and they yeah. can sing and yeah, yeah. you know be nice to community picnic. Right. So, yeah. so these are all things that we want to consider doing. Yeah, right. We want to we want to really you know dream big and then and then work on top. But I will say that we need to we need to do better in yes. maintaining the equipment. Yes. Like the, the mulch we should be buying the back driving we should be doing a little like blocking whale that you Straight that we can do anything to not get it. It's too hot. It is too hot. Yes. And uh, uh, no, I came back to men. Uh, you can, uh, there's a guy that goes to my church. He, he makes, he helps make some of these uh, big slots that there are, there are slots with. Uh, Holes and uh, and those those can be in a fourth lift, those can be easy to move. Yeah. I mean, we're not talking about tons and tons and tons of concrete here. And, yeah. and, and those slacks do have reinforcement. We can always go to ready three casting, they can see, yeah, we can see if they have it. It's not ready, it's a little or yeah. a, a rectangle, it's like in, it's a square. We can get well, they, these slacks are. Four, four by eight or ten. Yeah, in line. Yeah, I mean, one way or the other, we can we can look at doing that. Even if we do it ourselves, we just get. Yeah. Now, do we do we have any? Because I know there's through catalogs for park equipment. Do we have any in the council? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 You can look up anything. Um, you'd like. Yeah. Okay. So I I would like to take me one. Oh, that's true. You can. Google it, yeah. Because I want to make sure it would be something that's up to yeah. code for. You're receiving a lot of that stuff. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and then there's always sales. It's like 40% off, 50% off. Um, yeah, absolutely. You, you could use Google playground equipment. Because my, my legal project actually, I redid the part of the I had to go to the board. I was four or five before we redid the entire part of the there. And, um, yeah, it was actually sponsored by Desco. Desco sponsored it. So another ten thousand dollar project. So he invested in the park. Had he put in grills, trees, tables, chairs, benches. Um, and he did the new. So I still think we should ask Dutch Valley. Oops, oh, yeah. we going to like sponsor. If we could find a sponsor for for the park, which. If we would do some outreach, I think it would be great. And I think there would be interest in it. And the only request that Desco construction of the community had of, of me and the Eagle Project and the Fleetwood Township at the time was just to put a blackout this part was donated by, financially by yeah. Desco construction. Yeah. 
since the ballot is a ball field, we, we give them essentially like naming rights. Yeah, yeah. Ballot. So if they, yeah. If they, they would don't, yeah, if they would donate for the ball field, yeah. New ball field donated by Dutch Valley. Right. Yes. Now, on day when Kimberly sent me down to the office and we're meeting with the user's office, the conversation I always plan to have with her was how to do exactly that. Um, who can we reach out to help me have a form letter? Can you donate to um, this this project? And this is what we're looking to do so that we can have uh, plus the tiers of things that you get. Like if you donate, you know, ten dollars, we put a small plaque in the back of the chair, yeah, hundred dollars, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I know we have some other brick program. We could take some of the bricks and have them free, but again, it's expense. Finding out what we can and can't do, but like having a, a comprehensive plan, knowing exactly what we're going to be doing with the park and all the materials and, and that design in place, that's when we could reach out to all different agencies. And, and I'm going to go way beyond our local community. There's Fulton Bank, there's Such mm -hmm. Bell, there's MT Bank, there's so in, in our immediate facility, there's John Martin, there's, there's all these places, but I'm going to go big. I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm going to go international. I'm going to go, hey, if you want to give us money, we'll put a plaque. So, so uh, I mean, yeah. As far as the rock over there goes, we just need to figure out how we're going to do it, but or who's who can do it. It's your truck, but I can start clearing that out. We don't want to do anything until we have this big we in place. You know exactly where our problems are. Right. Because, because and, everything that's going to be fit out. No, and I agree with that. But for some there are some things that we can start taking care of. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like the brush. Yeah. yeah. Simple. Take off trees. That. I can do that. I will donate my time to that. It's yeah, okay. I'm a copy of the deed. I believe I have it in my email. So I'll try to forward that to you. And I'm still Something be, better. Yeah. Right. There should be the um the longitude latitude so you could be able to take it home and say, okay, this is the problem. I think we need to demarcate where the property lines are in or write something else like so you know where you're going, you're not just to leave your spot. Oh, you got your hand up? You want to muffle the podium so we can hear it? Uh, we had a lot of talk about property in this side of the street. What about property on the west? Oh, what we're doing this. So eventually, oh, yeah. 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 So eventually, so phase one is going to be the building in the park. Phase two is going to be tearing this down. And then this becomes our public works section. So this will be the garage was full, the the equipment she's like that the salt chip. And that's all that this is going to become because we have inadequate space for our equipment as it is now. So beyond beyond yeah. that would be green space. And if we opened up. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have room for green space. I think it's because I mean there's gonna be some, but um, then it's it's not gonna be as much thing. Yeah. Uh, but this problem had a problem in yeah. the past where we didn't have enough, we had inadequate storage for our salts delivery. So this is going to be garages because we don't have proper uh, wash stations for, for anyone on road. We don't have supply wash stations. We don't have shower because of the hazardous material type of an exposure of bathroom we lockers. Don't, we don't really have kind of like space for the trucks. Like right, right. The damage, like right. And so 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 part of the concept is, is to have at least double bays, at least three, if not four, plus a salt shed. And once you get to that size of a, of a building, and we're talking only single story, we're gonna encompass probably all of the, the property usable space that we have here now. Because they have to be they have to be able to pull in, pull out. Uh, ideally you don't want to have trucks pulling out and you want to have a double door system so you can just come around, come around. And that avoids a lot of accidents. So that's what this side of the property that we're anticipating would be phase two. And that is is one set of grants, and this will have to be another set of grants because we're looking at like four to five million dollars for that. And it would probably be a four million dollar project for this part of it too. Yeah. Which is it, it's showing, it's sad, but again, I know people get really disturbed when it comes to money and it comes to the, the roads. Um it's like a source spot. There's only so much money that we have that we can use for roads, or so, so much great stuff is available for roads. But why can't we take advantage of the programs that we can to get the building that we need yeah, to have it as a community? Yeah, we also would be silly 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just because ideologically, a lot of stuff, money that we use for roads. Yeah. Money yeah. that we didn't have that we could use for something yeah. else. So. Yeah. Even Melissa, who no longer is with us, still gets information on grants that she keeps on forwarding them to me. So, I, I, and I think that's wonderful. And as I'm going back through old emails, I'm pulling up all these little grants. There's grants for, for green technologies, there's grants for all kinds of things. But even though there's small amounts, small amounts together add up to a lot. So we're going to keep on going after everything that we can. Have. Kimberly is, is magnificent. I can't praise her enough for all the help that she's given to us and just keep on pitching it. But when, when outside people like the, the congressmen and the senators, when they see how much we're struggling, and here we are, we sit, we're at the tail end of Burst County and we're at the tail end of Lebanon County. We're in this like, little tiny spot, but both counties can, can access the resources that we have and we're trying to sell that that's going to be a big thing when it comes to getting these grants. If we're open to sharing our resources with the communities around us, I think that's the that that's going to get us where we need to get to. That, that is one of the yeah. things on a lot of grant applications yeah. is cooperation with other entities. It's like kind of that joint open space plan. Yeah. Like a lot of the work is that was kind of a checkbox on a grant is for yeah. participating in any sort of joint. Open, open space plan. Yep. So the fact that we that open source, yep. maybe other things, we're hopefully building uh, a better case for ourselves to get a lot of these grant opportunities. So. Okay. Uh, anything more on? No, I'm sorry. I feel like I beat the dead horse. It's so nice. Sorry. There's mm -hmm. no, it's, it's a very dynamic subject, and that's, I want to keep it. Absolutely. Okay, uh, proposed long term rental inspection ordinance fee schedule. Uh, this was suggested by the uh, attorney to mimic the uh, short term. I know Kraft has asked that before we take any action on it, that they get a chance to review it and give us feedback. So we're going to get in that. So Kraft provides, uh, say, a letter of critique on that or if there's any changes or revisions that they need on that. Is that reached out to? Oh, yeah, they're there are there are there are there are. Yeah, we actually oh, we, aware of it. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We had actually gotten uh, something from Kraft, and they were like, "Hey, we saw that you know, you're reviewing this. Can we get a look at it before you adopt it?" And at that point, we kind of hit the pause button and Holland was working kind of on. Okay, we'll get copies of this. Uh, next is the forty fifty Conrad Riser Parkway. I did reach out to Kraft Code about a certain range of time to go there. I haven't heard anything back, but I believe Glenn has been out. Yeah. Um, on vacation or something like that. And then all the other multiple issues, we have to get Colin's opinion on how to proceed. Yeah. yeah. I would actually going to reach out to Chief Rowan. I would like it if he were here on Thursday night, we could have a brief executive session. Now. Sure. Um, okay. Based on some of the concerns. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would really appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Based, based on some of the stuff that We've seen that. I think that's certainly warranted. Yeah. So we'll leave that be for the, the moment. We'll go to executive session on Thursday. Uh, next is the Western Birch Joint Zoning Ordinance. This is section 403 about the meeting cuts and small farm animals. Um, the next planning commission meeting, uh, 18th of July at 7 p.m. Uh, we will need to make a motion on accepting the amendment to our uh, on. Thursday night, so that it is proper. All the other municipalities would be, uh, since they're not participating, they're going to be casting a motion of essentially non participation, they're going to vote not to do it. Um, and then at the July 18th meeting, there is a hearing, a uh, public hearing at the beginning part of the meeting uh, for the adoption of that individual. So it would just be subject to parent attention. I'm available to go to that meeting. I, I, I will okay. be there. So we'll all go. And then would we need Lisa to attend? Yes. Lisa, Lisa, yeah, Lisa. I need to be there. Yeah. Okay, that's some. Yeah, I put it on every calendar right now. Yes. Yeah, I need to set up It's zero. at 7 p.m. and it's at the yeah, Heidelberg. Yeah, yeah, it's still ring. Oh, you know what? Grand Lords are ready. Grand Lords are ready. So if you guys could just remind me where to go. It's, it's, it's like. Yeah, it, by the library. No, 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 no. You know where you just that? You know, around the six square foot of the wall. Yeah. Like, if you go towards Mary a bit, there's a side of the annual CFO and like Mary Gaffers, like right behind there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was up near. Uh, 
We'll make sure no. we have the right uh, address. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> Okay, property maintenance issue on 660 Canal Road. This is uh, building that's owned by AT&T. AT&T has been unresponsive. Um, we have issued a demolition order. The residents of 653 and 654 have requested to demolish the shed themselves, which would be no cost to the township. We as a board have agreed to that. Uh, we'll ratify at Thursday night's meeting. The demolition permit uh, will have to be uh, opened by the property owners, which uh, they've agreed, and uh, we'll wait, wait the fee in accordance with the fact that they're being supervised and taking care of us. Um, so we would have a motion to waive the fee Thursday night based on that. After ratify the, uh, the letter that Colin had worked with the homeowners on about accepting the liability. Uh, next, we have already talked about nine and ten, so we're going to skip right up to eleven. Um, the uh, complaint forms and items for the damage to snow plows. I didn't really see any updates or changes on that since the last we talked about it, so I think we're just waiting on Colin's feedback. Mm -hmm. will be there. Yes, sir. Yes, are we opening ourselves up to a huge amount of liability? Yeah, because I think what the gist was of the conversation. Yeah. We want to be, we want to be the, the good person saying, hey, you know, because the complaint that we received was four months later. Yeah. And so we're going to see something within 48 hours or so. Relatively close to the, one, the incident. The one thing I will say is, depending on what happened with the snowstorm, you might not have to serve it. You might not. I think so you know, four months is probably on the expensive yeah. side. Yeah. Uh, I'm not opposed to setting a limit, but 48 hours at least. Right, right. Two weeks, three weeks. I would say like a four weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. 30 days. The use of kind of view. Well, yeah. as many as what I remember as a kid. Yeah. Now, but no, no, not so much anymore. Well, chances yeah. are, with, if it snows within four weeks, you'll be able to see it. I like that. It's, a, yeah. it's not a contract. It, it doesn't. It doesn't state that we will come out to remedy over yeah. there. Yeah. It's just to make us aware that there was an issue with respect to um So, um, it doesn't mean that we acknowledge that it was our fault either. So. I just want to take a look at the wording of it, yeah. make sure that it's just the, the documentation. Yeah, we'll get that first yeah. time to the next step. So yeah. But that ain't one so we can use it. But uh, yeah. I'm true, so lucky. <laughs> next is the road maintenance. So uh, we need to do general update on five year maintenance plan uh, on how roads are getting fixed and maintained. Try to get on a preventative cycle as much as you can. Start to outline the procedures for any culverts. Um, documenting and logging condition of culverts so that we have a kind of a trend that we can review on, on things. Um, Butch was working on getting details on the culverts if we can hand that in. Right, and Mike's going to give us the GIS program. Yes, and then we're going to get everything really logged into that GIS program. That sounds really awesome. Yeah. Uh, next is the Wintersville Road culvert. This is at 3820 Wintersville Road. Uh, we authorized this February. Uh, the engineer is finishing the design, should have that done by Thursday night. We need to make a motion to accept the design and advertise it out for bid. Um, and then for the 2024 road project, Sheridan Road South, Illinois and Boulevard, Lebanon County. We made a motion at last month's meeting to advertise the drainage and roadway improvements. The design is nearly complete and should be ready uh, for us to review and potentially authorize for bidding and advertising on Thursday. Or no, uh, July, July, I'm sorry, not July. We did say July uh, last month, but he yeah. actually was in on Friday to pick something up. He should be ready oh, for, us. for this okay. Thursday, coming Thursday for That's so stuff. fantastic. But I think we said July in the beginning, we wasn't quite sure. Yeah, I mean, going to get to do everything. If we can put a bunch of stuff to bid out at once, let's say it takes money, yeah. uh, after the times. Yeah. So, uh, speaking of that, uh, the guide rails, we had made a motion at last month's meeting to authorize the bidding for moving Old Park Free Road. Uh, an ad was sent to the Reading Eagle uh, on Wednesday the 22nd, or May 22nd, I should say that specifically. Uh, and it was published in the 23rd and the 28th of May's publications of the paper. The bids will be opened on June 24th. 
So uh, Monday, they'll be able to. Yeah, Anna Stevens will be here on Monday. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Also, we'll have the in the same threshold of bidding and advertisement. Uh, the extension of the stormwater pipe on Marion Drive on Main Street. This is something that Chair Bingham had completed. Uh, and at last month's meeting, we made a motion to advertise for bid. The ad was published in the May 20th on four papers, and the bids will also be on seal. Okay, for items 17 and 18, we're running volume of road. We're going to uh, skip them due to potential duplication on, on those items. Uh, equipment and equipment repair. Um, I know we had talked a little bit. Briefly, go tonight about the boom mower possibly needing some repairs. Uh, I think the, the takeaway on that is Jesse and Butch and possibly I will take a look at it. Um, see if it's you don't want me to look at it? Come on. What we're, we're, we're going to do is we're going to change, right. change the fluids and change the filters and see if the issue persists. Yeah. De depending on, on fluid change on a tracker. Yeah. You can have gallons to gallons. Yeah. So it might just try to see the level of the, 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 the fluid there, if it's hydraulic, um, and replace the filter first. Okay. Um, because we're gonna have a little hand mess back there. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's I I actually have a uh transfer pump that's rated for pepper pants. Okay. So I we needed to, to we drain need some little hand and put it into a 55 gallon bucket. I actually have okay, uh, I should say bucket, 55 gallon throw. I actually have a transfer pump. That's where I get for gas. We have this. We can take the pump. That's true. We can take it to, yeah. it to, we could take it to um, probably the, the uh, ag center. Okay. Uh, we have some place to go. Yeah, yeah, we don't need to. Yeah, oh, we don't, yeah, let's say we don't need We have one on the second one. It's out of the way. It's very small. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, so I mean, what, we can make, figure out somewhere. But I, I, I agree with you that changing a filter would be the first and easiest step. If that's still like if the filter, if we take it off, it looks good. Yeah. Then we have the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find it and get enough upper proper and yeah. see what it does, even if it's just forward, backward, and then feel in here. Yeah. Um, I, I just that thing has air conditioning. We have it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Good. Yeah. yeah. We don't want to get out there when it's super hot. Okay. We want to get out. Okay. So we're late. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, next is the tractor purchase. This is the tractor that we talked about getting for doing ball field maintenance and things. Um, what I would like for Thursday, Jesse, if you'd be able to get that together, is like I, I have all the details here, but just a, a kind of side by side. You, you can do it in like the column format of. This is the tractor. It's got X number of horsepower. This is the next tractor. It's got this much horsepower. It's got this. It's got this. You know, just the direct comparison and plus. Okay. So and then all those um, emailed into the township. Okay. Um, so can you put those on the quotes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just so that we can do it an apples to apples on that because we did we did sell two pieces of equipment on a uh, municipal bid. So it's, it's effectively a wash. We got rid of equipment that we're not using. Yeah. We can buy something new that we will use. Yeah. So. Um, one thing I would say, you know, if um, we do would go with the thing being Hearst guy or Agritier, he was saying that the underbelly more finishes my certain than the PTO driven three point. Yeah, it's, well, it's no big deal. Yeah, I don't really care what we get as long as we have something to back drive that ball field, use it for, like I said, park maintenance and mulch and, and sort of beautify the park. Um, yeah. Instead of a full size farm tractor, full size which you can't, which is it's overkill. It's, 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 it's difficult. Oh, you know what? You, something that big, you can't get into. Well, I, I know the hospital is you can get any, you didn't see it. I, I didn't get a chance to look, but it's, I, I feel do that once or Every week of the edge. Yeah. I mean, we need stuff, so we don't have so much work yeah. in the spring. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, I feel bad for you watching you try to do the big John Deere because that's mm -hmm. that's like, uh, that's like trying to serve. I don't get through. Yeah. 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 Uh, you gotta, sometimes you got to have the right tool for the job. You're doing yeah. the best you can as yeah. it is, uh, but you got to get the right tool for the right thing. Um, is that too complex here? 
I had two ones to work on. I see that. Yeah. 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 Um, I did two of them. So prior to that, by the time I was done, I can't get that. I just used to it. Uh, <laughs> next is the update of the subdivision and land development for Salvo, uh, along with the stormwater ordinance and fees. And your bank will be updating the fee schedule and should have that ready for July as we can uh, Next is 4315 Conrad Weiser Parkway. Uh, this is an to the agricultural security group. The property is owned by Justin and Bethany Purse. We are uh, looking at the adoption of a resolution entering first property to an act security. Uh, Attorney McFarland has prepared the necessary resolution. We would just need to discuss it eventually. So once you're in act security, you can get the weather stuff to come out of it. So, uh, Trying to remember, clean and green, you can pay back taxes on, but I believe the ag security is the one that the state that you cannot exit once you're in ag security or ag security. And it's benefits to the whole, correct? Yeah. Yeah. And, and so you, you, uh, you could then get out of that security. Yeah. Everything back up to the yeah. there, is, there is one further one that you cannot exit. Yeah. Uh, and you have not posted doing it, but you know, in the future, what happens is, is uh, and this is the point that we also have made. Once we start having all these properties tax security, we're just choking off our own community. There's no room for anything. There's, there's no room for any development. Mm -hmm. If you just fall tax security, and that's all that we have. Well, well, yeah. Yeah. I agree yeah. with you, but on the other hand, we are agri largely agricultural. Sort of that, yeah. So I'm I'm not opposed to this. Well, um, but it's just like, like a thought there, yeah. you know. Honestly, my yeah. my only <laughs> reservations that I would have about that, like if we're looking at the green map, that right. light kind of reddish pink color along there that's along 422. Those are the only ones that I would not. I mean, I'd still probably approve it, but those are the ones that I would be hesitant about yeah. because those are really the only ones that offer any yeah. further development that right. doesn't take away from the, the character of Mary Town right. which result in a detriment to people living in a certain area. All yeah. that stuff is in uh, town center. Right. But, or, uh, right. In town center, we're we have it, like this. You can have very small business. Right. Um, I'm hoping for like, that's. Yeah. And I don't think any of those would be eligible for ag preserve anyway, yeah. but that's like the only area that I would be like hesitant to say yes. So. Yeah. Again, that initiative with the building and sidewalks and beautification, and hopefully we could attract people saying, hey, look at this, 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 this prime space to start yeah. it, because you could go to the community center, you not, could do this, you could do that. Not necessarily as yeah. busy as but it would be yeah. nice to see that strong yeah. sort of feel to it, where yeah. there's a little more Thing is bringing people in and correct. 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 The problem is, is the right off of 422. People want to face 422. Yeah. And then they want to make the tail end of their business on the main street right. and then right. make main street with that. It's fine. Yeah. It's just like secret. Like, you know, like they, they just, you know, it depends on how you advertise it. Well, instead of going down to 422, you can park and you can. If they had the sign, you could bring people in the front. And there would be people that would want to sit out on Main Street with tables, tables with chairs. Yeah. It could be something like that. It's work, work. What is that one down in Myers County? Just read that restaurant we were talking about. Yeah, that's two Yeah, that's beautiful on Main Street. But yeah, what if it was just turned around and facing four twenty two instead of facing Main Street of Myers County? Right. Like, like it's, 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 to me, it to me, easy. people are working against yeah. fixing up Main Street. Right. And it's actually. Well, I don't think that'd be as attractive to go in. I like the fact that it's on a slope way that I can park and I could go there and then there are some other shops around it that for them both in the past that the revitalization, I think that's the yeah. key that yeah. we really do. And I, and I can see it happening in the future. I think we did a huge revitalization project that included Main Street in the back section where the old Garden State Tan building was, and it turned out beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I think we have that potential. I'd like, to, I'd like to work towards that. We need to That's... keep people here. We need to keep families here. We need to keep people investing in our community. And that's where we have to come into that beautification, yeah. right? yeah. whether it's putting fires out or banners or sidewalks or yeah. whatever. Um, we got to see where that fits into the, the dynamic budget yeah. year over year. Yeah. Again, no, we, we, we got to sidewalks. Yep. Yeah. I know we don't do that until. 
score goes through because it's chopping up. So with the low pressure, that's less of a concern because they don't actually trench that out. The way the low pressure works is you dig a hole at either end. So they can walk them all right through. Yeah. yeah. That's well, less than better. Yeah. So, I mean, so we'll have to talk to the engineers about that, but that's that's the whole charm of that is you don't have to dig this enormous trench. You can do everything pretty much. It's like three feet down, but it's at rate. Yes. So you can really want to use for a, a long hole and you feed a tube through and you connect the ends and you move on to the next section. Sidewalks are terrible. So people's porches are falling off. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely, yeah. there's no reason for someone to want to look down and down into the street right now. Yeah. Especially when I'm in my property and people well, you have to yell at me for doing it. Well, yeah. Because they say you don't need to do it. Yeah. So you have a lead by example. So hopefully when you do it, somebody else will go, you know, that looks nice. I should do the same. For years, mine was the only one mode for like seven years on that little stretch. So. Okay. Moving on to the next thing, the first step. The first yeah, step. yeah. So if you look up uh, a TTEPTT device, yeah. I would pull it up there. I don't know. I have to find the image of one of this. All right. So I had another conversation with a gentleman. His name is I don't know his last name. Um, he called me the other day saying, Hey, where's it going? Everyone in there is having this proof to get a plan because of uh, which that's as people uh, government. So what that means for you is um, you can get a phone service for $39.99 a month, uh, plus you can get a phone through um, CoStars, which you can purchase through them for a dollar, because you get the latest phones. Um, I said to him, I go, okay, you know, I'm interested in four phones, um, I got approval. What he explained to me is that township would have to have for six months. Which I, I was, I thought that I would have the contract. I said, no, the contract would have to have the Contract for six well, months. Well, after six months. Well, then we could cancel it through the township, and I could pick up personally, and I still get that same discount. I qualify because of my medical stuff anyway. John qualifies because of the stats here, and so so it doesn't affect me as far as what the contract plan is. Okay. Um, and if your spouse doesn't qualify, they get twenty five percent discount. On it. So I'll have to ask permission to do that because I was under a different impression. I thought that we could pick up the contract. Sleep, but no, the only way I could get that this time is, is uh, please. I, I still need to talk to him because because I think he's still qualified for that, so I might not have to go there. No, the reason why we have to go there is to get the discount. That was the okay, so, so off the call, yeah, and obviously, we use it to accuse that, yeah, it's the yeah. absolute yeah. situation of, yeah, you you reimburse the township, kind of a reverse of if you want something and right. pay you back. Right. To pause on your opinion back. Right. I'll let, I'll let, I'll let. Well, back. Well, well, here's, here's the other part of it. So there's the push to talk devices. Yeah. So if you want to pull it up on the yeah, right. screen, you can do it. A T T T T. Um, so the push to talk devices are what John would like to have available. The, the, the cost of the unit is minimal. Uh, each of the push to talk things again would be a dollar. The monthly service fee is $29.99. So um, what he added to that was if he had a township cell phone, mm -hmm. then the cell phone service would be $39 a month, dollar for the phone. It would only be $2 more a month for the talk device unit. But without the, the cell phone, it's $29.99 a month, probably all the other expenses he's associated um, with. the cell phone, it would take it to the $41 mark, then you would have a township cell phone that's dedicated just for the township. Again, the advantage of that is you get priority over the network because you're a government agency. So I don't know if it'll show you pictures, but it basically it's a little box of push to talk. And John, I think, wants it like something like 16 units, dollars so that it's handed out to you, it's handed out to police, it's handed out to private. Whatever other emergencies we have, they go to a particular channel, they could all communicate with each other. Because as John's iterated to me over and over and over again, the worst thing that happens on all these disasters is lack of communication. Yeah. So, yeah. Months, um, you know, you have to call, um, you know, radios, it's frequency, things going through the county, it's going through. And if you have an incident that Lebanon County comes up, you can't share frequencies with them. So, which talk device again? So, $29.99 a month, it doesn't show which talk device. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a good So, so it, 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 it's very interesting. Um, 
So again, so I'll ask Colin that particular question because after six months, it would become my personal yeah. thing. But it's it's the the fact that when you get these items for a dollar, it's all like this, and it's twenty nine ninety nine a month. If you just have a push twelve devices, cheating them off the to push or something, or to pay much because the young doesn't pick up the cell phone, um, or does it later on the day he does a text. It's in rapid communication. This instant Johnny's to talk with someone at the school district. You need to read about your, your buses. You know, we're given that instance, and he immediately is able to talk. We need police, we need fire, everyone gets to the unit, and this there's better accountability, there's better communication. So mm -hmm. um then it's weird that it won't pull it out. Yeah. Yeah. So you can remind me how to yeah. have us and see what goes. I the one thing he did say, I don't know why it's coming to my mind, that if there's like a big incident, yeah, they bring like this balloon, like, yeah, yeah, it's almost like yeah. a mirror balloon, yeah, it's just yeah. yeah. everything, and in the air, you know, like, now, now, it's a, it's a, yeah, so if there's anything massive where they need to pull in additional resources, which are going to, I mean, the yeah. animal events, they bring, they could bring in other resources, just like hearing the first person, so, okay. yeah. Okay, uh, next, uh, advertisement for road crew. Uh, we're gonna put that out on indeed if we have an already. And again, high school students, I did let them know, uh, 18 and older have to have a driver's license, uh, see if they're available. Okay, uh, and in, in conjunction with that, we're gonna write up a work a duty assignment, essentially job description and work responsibilities. That way that is nice and crisp. And yeah. There's no ambiguity there. Just LTAP courses to go through yep. their slot of education. They went to the flag training course. So keep our guys in the loop and and, and yeah, I think that can be the yep. responsibility yep. some sort of continuing education. Yep. Continuing education and move on, even cleanliness, because yeah, um park maintenance when you're not doing something else, you could be doing something in the park. Yeah. Um rescheduling for the equipment so it should be done almost every 24 hours, at least scoring yeah. fitting increased. Um, I was just back in Barack Bay last meeting for a little bit, and there's stuff all over the floor, dirt all over the floor. One of the end of the day assignments should be sweep the bay. But you know the dirt might be a little bit And one of the things that I was talking to Lisa about before this is evidently the rules. Full time employment have changed over the past couple of years. Um, if you have less than 50 employees, you are not required to offer benefits. So, technically speaking, this is something we want to talk to Colin about. We could potentially hire full time uh, roles as long as we, as a whole, as a township, are under that, bit, which I think we're very squarely going to be under the 50. Yeah. Um, so we could actually catch the higher field of time, whether it's a secretary, whether it's road crew, whatever, because we are not under the requirement of bringing any sort of health care benefits or we're not exactly the right, but the minimum essential coverage for health stuff under fourteen care. I personally would like to see a full-time road crew guy, but I would also like to see more as also a utility maintenance person. So if there's if it's raining real heavy one day and he's here full time. He can go in the garage bay and maybe sweep out the bay. Yeah. Other things around the years as a, yeah, yes, the, that one. Yeah. Again, like things that don't necessarily think of John Wise heavily broke for some of the stuff that he needs as an emergency manager. Sure. So, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Because it's all a team. At the end of yeah. the day, it's all a team between the township's road crew, right? They're usually in full time work and doing something and then find a company and create some response or anything like that. So let's put that in there because I stumbled across that. that that's something to consider. Okay. But we definitely need these responsibilities. And that's yes. something that honestly should be yes. uh, spelled out. Yes. I know in black. It very much black and yeah. white. I know second class township code has a section about road masters, but I don't know anything about road. road, road. road. Um, I'm thinking maybe we should take the the stuff that's in second class township and almost use that as the free yeah. Word it a little differently so that it's more geared around. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. I don't yeah. Know. Okay. And are we're going to use the, the road master as more or less the supervisor of the road. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, um, 
need to of course check with Tom about the lane manual. And I know there's a lot of stuff that pops up on PSAT's website too. So there's a couple of education classes about I'll take a look at if you want to know something. They can say, I need you to see this, like just yeah, you should know if you see it. I'll give you extra work. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, next is the comprehensive plan. Uh, we got an email from David Hunter at the Berks County Planning. Uh, he's the communications director there. Uh, he will be attending the WDJZ hearing on July 18th. The county recommends updating the township comprehensive plan to become joint. Grant money will be available. And this is something that I guess I think I knew about, but I forgot about this super nice Plus, it's like a 10 year plan or more longer than that. Yeah. And even, yes, there was a, a, another meeting at this business year. I don't know why. Yeah, they didn't invite us. Yeah. I asked about that. Nobody said anything. Yeah. You had to work well. Yeah, you were working. Yeah. 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 Uh, there was something in the email. Yeah. 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 We can reach out to, I can't remember what the lady's name was. Um, uh, again, that's, that's moving forward with how can we make Marion Township improved. And then there's that county-wide level plan. Although their ideas are, don't necessarily apply to our yeah. kind of community, but there are resources. And I keep on forgetting, like, it's something that maybe you should just like ask like, hey, Hey, what have you got for us? And, and, and just yeah. put it on our radar. We should go for awareness. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. like I, yeah. if you would go to that, you yeah. would pay for that. Absolutely. Yeah, so do they have a, a card as well for the office? Do they have a card? There is a card. Yeah, there's there's a card. Well, they, they, they pay you to Yeah, yeah. 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 I remember one big takeaway from, from last year, and this is for the school. The school district doesn't feel like there's room for development and to housing in our community um, because of their because of their their um capacity. Now, to me, again, not having grown up here, it's not right? It, that, right, 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 right. Um, but, but again, it's resources also. But not having grown up here, I find the classrooms like extremely small. I grew up in, a, in an area where 30 to 40, even up to 45 in the classroom is typical, where we all jammed in and crowded again, but it was great. Um, but at the same time, you know that your classroom size is about 20, to me, I find unusual, but they feel that their schools are at capacity when it comes to amount of students so um but again if you pay attention to say the PSAT um website on um, housing is a big thing that, that's going to be coming up in discussion we use a bill that's uh for uh the state talking about housing and I guess there's a, a little bit of a fight between what municipalities want to do versus what the state wants because housing is, is a huge issue affordable housing is a huge issue so Again, I don't think we have much room for development. Um, what was the maximum we could have is like a duplex here. Yeah. And so it doesn't necessarily affect us. But at the same time, the school, I remember just hearing from the school, they're like, we don't really want more development when it comes to housing because they feel that like they're at house. That doesn't prevent a current family from having 16 children. It sounds like they're going to go to school. That's fast. Um, well, no, they're going to have to be used to how many more children. Yeah, they, 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 they have the physical space. Yeah, yeah. when I was in yeah. school, 25 to 30, really more for 30 was the common. Mm -hmm. That was yeah. the yeah. class size for Yeah, I think you would have like small classroom size. I mean, small yeah. class size is yeah. good. It's a little more personal. Right. And right. The kids, they get yeah. a little one on one time with the teacher. But I come back to the original statement that that's not really an us problem. Right, so then, right. So right. the new school when that when we came out of capacity, so yeah. brand new one school district they built the new school when it came yeah. out of capacity. That's well, just, for sure. But the other school, there's other actions you could take. That well, they did. They they exhausted us for where they built the new school. But hypothetically, I'm not saying yeah. it's happening. But if somebody came to us and said, "Hey, we can put a ten home development in pick, pick somewhere hypothetical," 
we're not going to go no because the school district doesn't have enough space right. for kids possibly right we're going to do things in the base of our zoning right. and everything right. else right. to satisfy that okay right. but, right. i remember that was one of the takeaways that we have from that meeting i remember sitting there just like i don't know how much information it would be this helpful to us because then they focus more on on the red area but it was interesting to 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 hear what the conversation was and some people asked a lot of questions and sooner i'm just like kind of vague about things but having now gone to the piece of conference of understanding what we can do within our own community it's very exciting. Yeah. yeah it's very exciting to think you know what attractions can we keep in place here so that we keep families here and families investing in this community that's my goal Okay. Next is the Jeremy Trout and Poultry Operations Letter of Credit. This is a request for release, uh, requesting release in full. We are waiting on verification of the amount to be released by Mr. Travis and here. Engineer Bingham also needs to do a final inspection. So until that, both of those things are done, we will have no further action to take on that. Uh, computers. Uh, solve IT. I need to call a little light. No, big one, big one. Big one, sorry. We need to call them about that. Um, with this, I actually wanted to show you. Okay. I, I was in on Friday. Okay. Is, is the Microsoft applications in here? Uh, no, because they put a password on it. They can't stop it. So this, this works. So this is Google Docs. So she never fabulous Microsoft. It, that, so I uploaded this for her. This is it, it, it Google Docs like, on Microsoft. So feedback. Through. It wasn't like that. So, yeah, it wasn't. As I say, this is this is exactly what I had queued up on Thursday night for you guys. Uh, this, this wasn't what they had used. Okay. Well, they, this this was what was on the black card. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's a different. It's, it's a different. Yeah. I say it's a different page. That was that one was on the flash drive that I was getting. So that might be yeah. up so, so you're install my. Yeah, I need that password. I have the installer there. I went to install it on Thursday night because that's what I'm going to do. Because we have the licenses for it. Just didn't get around doing it. Okay. And then it's like you need whatever this weird bogus account password is. Yes, you call me. Yeah. Get it settled down just so yeah. you know what we're going to move forward with yeah. here. You should get, you should get the laptop. Yeah. We already authorized that. Um, we, so, laptop. Laptop was already okay to last the, the notebook, right? The notebook. The, the, yeah. Notebook. All right. Yeah. The thing um, that. Maybe you can help me sit through the email so that we could, we could go through that. Okay. Um, so, that was approved. Um, I need to talk to him about like, back the back of the file because I think we're. Probably going to be able to do functionally a lot of that with Microsoft license. Um, so if we don't have to do that, that's awesome. Um, and then I need to, Sue has the multi token. Okay. I need to have Sue on the phone with me when I go to sign in so I have myself. Okay. I have no way of authenticating myself. Um, beyond that, I can get the email stuff all linked up. That's pretty easy to do. It's not time consuming. I just have to do it. So you talk uh, to I, I will take care of that. I'll talk to Mike. Um, and the, the only other thing would be if we wanted to talk computers at some point, but uh, I would say you just leave that for Thursday. Okay. Do you have in here? There's a fan in the back. Yeah. There's, there's, there's two problems. Family are loud. Yeah. And you can't really, I'm, I'm very hesitant to mount anything to the ceiling because there's a problem. Yeah. Uh, uh, terrible. There's probably like six or seven rooms above that. Yeah. No, it's probably like a horse hair plaster yeah. laugh. Yeah. And that's that's like my let's, let's, let's not try to the same thing. <laughs> Save these lights so that oh, yeah. I'm probably saving lights in the new building. Yeah, it's bringing it to the new building. Yeah, I like the character of the lights, but I, I would highly recommend based on what I found in the wall. Don't touch the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> Don't touch the ceiling. Yeah. I already know it's not very energy efficient. Oh, we can put out the easy one. We can rewire the lights. I'm a bit of a fire. You can use this. I, I will I will volunteer my time to get to that point of rewiring these things. Yeah. It's, it, it, it is the, yeah, the simplest hard. of electrical yeah. things. It's a it's a cord yeah. and a fixture we stick it yeah. in a, a fitting. So yeah. all right, last yeah. last thing. Last first, oh yes, thank you. Last two things. 
Berks County became conservative. We got an email from uh, Attorney Cohen about this to the Cohen Law Group. Uh, I don't think it applies to us. Like we can't. Yeah. Um, I saw Cohen. He sent an email to him and he said it was part of very So just on. The total fees that we would pay to the Cohen Law Group, which is stretched out over the four years. This year, the, the franchise fees already have exceeded what we would pay him. Yes. So, so we're in the plus with respect to that, and this like is well over four thousand dollars. This is kind of what yeah. you, it's like yeah. Jim has some apprehensions, but this is you spend a little bit of money so, so that you make. Yeah. Kind of, I want to use the term investment, but you spend a yeah. little bit. Yeah. So, okay. Next, emergency management coordinator report. Do you have anything? These are the transcript student class. We again invite people to come out to uh, uh, look at what they're doing. So we're taking photos and maybe you can post some of that information on the website too. Yeah. Um, push. Uh, getting back to maintenance on equipment, you know, we didn't get a little drunk store fix stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, we approved that. Yeah, we approved that too. Yeah, yeah, but we need we need to fix it all. Uh, let's, let's take it over there. Get it done. Huh? It's already okay. Take it, get it done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a terrible. Yeah. That's one of the other first things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So uh, we're not using the draw analysis. Yeah. Not, 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 yeah. Uh, Kelly, real quick. When's when's the movie night? It was last night. Last night. Okay. Um, as far as the movie. Okay. okay. Oh my god, it's gonna be like so hot. Oh, Sunday. Sunday. Tomorrow is Sunday. Tomorrow is Sunday. So I will, I will try to be there, but I have something to work with. So I, I may not be there, but I oh my I encourage you guys if it's not really hot to go out. Um is, is Bonnie gonna be able to open up the building? Yeah, I was gonna talk to you guys. What time do you make it those yeah. opens? What time what should be what's the my concern is I mean access to the stairs. We can open that for you. We'll leave the, the lock open today. We're getting access yeah. to the I'm not sure if I need to put that out today. I mean put it out. If you want to put it out today, put it out today. But Absolutely. yeah, I have my truck. If you if you want to we'll take it down, put it in my truck and put it out for you. Yeah. But we can help you with that. But uh, yeah, I, I normally try to come to the picnic, but I, I've got one thing that we need to be out to be. So now I'm not going to pay because I'm not sure it's easy yet. Um, we'll, I think we have about six. Okay. Five or six. Um, next video is July 19th. Okay, July 19th. Awesome. Did you see right? That's it. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Because I get a response. I apologize. Does it make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, it's a sure. You know, it, it, it should be our responsibility for, for ordering the mulch removal. Yeah, we'll do that. We're, that's going to be part of our park maintenance program. Yeah. Yeah. And in, in the absence of that, or even with that, if there's a situation, like if you say, like, hey, we noticed that. Bleeding, and there's a bunch of bald spots with the bulbs that it's gotten low. Just let us know, and we'll yeah. we'll, we'll take it from there. Um, so, it's okay. It, it it's happens. It's okay. Um, <laughs> the the basketball net things. Yeah. I, I ordered them. They're just not here yet. Sure. Um, whenever they get here, I'll bring them bring over and put them up. Yeah. So. Not had the yeah. yeah. Okay. They asked for those okay. So I feel that Beverly has got a heart of goals, and I appreciate their efforts towards everything. It's just like you need to because it legally it's our equipment. You have to ask us first, and that's the only. I don't want her to get in trouble. You know, technically, it's vandalism. Um, and it sounds awful to, to phrase it like that. She has a part of rules, and, and I'm glad she she paired up with your group because it gives her something to focus on, too. Yeah. Another comment. Some months ago, put your money in the shore with that. Um, she didn't even know what she had started with. It's all bigger, rush, and 30s. 
and then we can switch when that just a lot of them that change up. I think this is the other one. Oh, there is, um, there is, yeah, there's a couple of trees that they wanted to take down, but they're technically on our property. Oh. They offered to do it but for liability reasons. We can't let them do that. Um, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, they, they didn't take the trees. Oh, I guess so. Oh, they did? Yeah. I, I, I saw them now. Oh, okay. Okay. As long as as long as it was us cutting them down. Yeah, I saw them down and they they could care. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. 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 Okay. Anything else before I close out the meeting? Wait, any comments? Well, I, I, okay. that's, that's the closure. Okay. I don't have any comments other than stay cool. It's blisteringly hot okay. outside. Uh, I read. So if we could get a thank you letter to Meyerstown, the Southern Atlanta Company, mm -hmm. I'll get the address for helping us with the flag. Um, yeah, we have that written on the phone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So so we're okay with that. We'll get that thank you letter. And then we'll have to, John will give you the, the attention to bring to you the thank you letter on our letterhead for the, the trench rescue. Yeah. 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 Speaking of thank you letters, just start yeah. my memory. I will give contact information for the Heidelberg, not like first, but like Lebanon, that the, they had one fire police officer at the partial. We should send a thank you yep. and I'll pass it over to the community association. Okay. Um, yes. I think I think so. I'll have to check my email, but there was Heidelberg and Lebanon because I, I sent stuff to everybody that was in the right surrounding area and they were the only one that said yes. Everybody either else didn't apply or said no, we have unfortunately had an obligation for that day. So yeah. And John is working on uh seeing what we can do to get more fire groups active. Yes. Just the training process they have to go to plus it's very many process that we get to do, which is kind of cool. If you look at some of the old meeting minutes, yeah. there's a several swearing in class. That's cool. So I guess the other thing I want to say is thank you. For all the hard work that you've been doing and keeping us afloat, everything you've been doing, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, we do appreciate everything yeah. we do. Yeah. Jesse. I'm trying. Yeah. Um, yeah. I really don't have any comments other than we just need a silly little letter that says, I, if you have a lot of space where you fill in your name, have the right to sign for on behalf of X. Right? Just a, a general letter. One of us can write it. No, we can't. Uh, um, what do you think? With respect to what? Uh, with with respect to the title for the tractor. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's not a problem. Yeah. It's still over. So, but they're not going to let you do their ass being a letter. Oh, what I was geez. saying, it looked like we just typed some that said, like, yeah, the board of supervisors authorizes yeah, so the following yeah. individuals. Yeah. Just yeah. Being, oh, like, reading it together. Yeah. Sign. Yeah. Uh, yeah. On, uh, yeah. Something yeah. just kind of for title work and their, you know, Sure. I, similar to the way. Hasslers, they need uh, the invitation that uh, well, Peter or you can sign on um, behalf of the township. Yeah. Yeah. What I was, what I was yes, I'll sign it. Yeah. We all, yeah. yeah. We're even members yeah. of the board, yeah. we have Lisa witness it and then we seal it. Yeah. yeah. And even then, and yeah, because that, that's, yeah. It's not yeah. a problem. Yeah. Get that done then. Okay. We can just do that real yeah, quick. It's, it's, it's no big deal. It, can, it doesn't need to happen yeah. today because we should first. But yeah. other than that, maybe yeah. next week. Yeah, let's so get that prepped so that we can print it out and sign um, on Thursday night. And the other comment I wanted to make was um, we all have cards, right? Now. Yeah. For the yes. Yeah. yeah. We may need to stay a lot. Uh, yes. 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 Our first of all, any, any um, purchases need to be approved at a meeting before they're. On, unless it's a de minimis type of a thing. So if you yes, maybe ask the mower, you need some 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 office stuff at the at JDM or something like that. Um and I we have our credit card policy. There's limits on all the cards. Um uh, we have two hundred and fifty dollars yeah. on these two cards. Um I'm the only one that has more of a limit because I'm the one that has to pay the bills. So um yes yeah, so there's a credit card policy policy as you use the card. Wherever you're going to use it, you bring it back against law. So there's a limit. There's yeah. a limit. Two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Um, I forgot what it was for the supervisors. Uh, uh, yeah. Because yeah. It, the title one potentially could cost more. Don't worry. Don't yeah. worry. Well, I think yeah. one of the cards yeah. has a thousand dollar limit. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I just think it's odd, yeah. just because of the sole fact that 
I worked for Penske for seven years and I had a big part for Penske. The only thing I needed to do was be under my approved amount and hand in the receipt and what it was well, for. Right. So the right. municipal stuff works a little different. Right. You have to authorize the purchase. Right, the purchase. Yeah. Well, yes. so, uh, and then can we have this on the agenda for Thursday meeting to authorize Jesse to utilize um, the credit card for the uh, title of services um, for the unknown amount? So I'll, I'll say a little bit more to that. There was not for everyone here. Um, so, yeah. We have controls in place based on what's required. Right. Like, Right. The other part of it is so that you don't have someone that's going rogue and like all of a sudden they're charging an excessive amount and then we're responsible for that amount. Well, yes, but then I'm just going to how much they're charging exactly. after the fact. So every single purchase I made as a Penske employee, if I don't hand in my receipt after the purchase, right. you're innocently in trouble. Yeah. Right. I right. said so the same thing that I was thinking that we should follow. Because I don't care if at least is in that office, it's Peter. Hey, we need a load of balls. You're coming home from work, and he has his car on, and he puts a load in his truck and drops off. Yeah, that's that's so what I want. Yeah. The first credit card bill you do is submit to the and and to the get you reimbursed. I don't have to do me. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, so, yeah. So don't so don't worry about it. I'll I'll explain to you. So if you if you are doing something in advance, you have to have the proof. If there's a situation, and this is for Colin would have to comment, but if there was something that came up like, oh God, we're, we're out of salt, we need to order for salt, uh, and supplies out of it. So I pick up the phone and go, hey, I'm going to call whoever. I'm going to get on my personal credit card and be here tomorrow. The board doesn't have to approve that. We effectively ratify that after the facts and then say, yes, we accept the expense. Right. So I guess the other example recently, um, uh, John finally got around to ordering the canopy that I believe is, is up and out display there. Um, and he finally got around to that. That was well over $1,000. He didn't want to his personal credit card because the time frame which he may or may not be reimbursed for. So we came into the office, we made a purchase at the office, and, and that was well over $1,000. At the same time, though, the same day, we went to Home Depot. I set up a account at Home Depot so that we had taxes. Um, and we purchased the lumber that we needed that, again, was approved to have the meetings. So, yeah. I can see us trying to get some stuff done, just for example, at the park. Right? And this yeah. is kind of convoluted. Hey, Jesse, you have your truck, you're, you're working right well, So it's not trying to grab this and six yeah. by six, and I can't. Well, this is, this is where you can also park up, you know, yeah. because we have that car off. Yeah, so. yeah. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll we'll, we'll, yeah, work on this. Yeah, yeah. Controls are there yeah. to prevent yeah. Uh, yeah. abuse. Yeah, to say it's not necessarily right. by us, but it's a process put in place to avoid any misconduct. Right. Yeah, it needs to be in our employee management. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lisa, they agree. Um, there was one thing you and I discussed, and I said we would need to speak about because it was on the agenda that I had to wait for a physical policy. Freshman? Stop. Oh, right. We're just not going to touch that. We're going to talk about that. Yeah. Oh. Um, any other announcements? Um, just um, back and forth with the Veterans Office right now to get that as soon as they can. Okay, fantastic. And make sure there's time to talk about the day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah. it looks yeah. like she's giving part of it so they walk in the building. Um, <laughs> yeah. Liability readers. Yeah. yeah. In February, I'm not February, July. July. Uh, I should, should be around again. Like, it would be like right before Fourth of July. I should be. I'm off that. I could be I around. Think yeah. you off, and I think there are some days you're off. Yeah, it's right. If I need to take a day, that's a good yeah. thing to do it. Honestly. So, just email her on yesterday, and I went this morning, and it was in two days, and it was all good for those days. That's uh, fine. What's one of mine? Thursday. Yeah, that Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, she said she was available. So I'm sure she can come later today. It's like one of the days you're working there, yeah. too. Yeah, it doesn't, it, it doesn't matter. As long as, as someone's here to speak on our right now, yeah. I'm looking forward to Monday. I asked him to wear just wear casual clothes because I'll be dressed up. So, yeah, if we're going to take a walk outside, then yeah. You're going to take it upstairs. Yeah, yeah. 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 go to the harbor. The basement. Yeah. Then you see the yeah, me too, me too. But don't hurt yourself. No, no.
Yeah, so you should use your law business study yeah. Monday. Yeah, to work a lot better. Yeah, oh. just the lock that we have on the door so the area goes for floor. Yeah, we have that key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. In that case, I will make a motion to adjourn the meeting. The time is now 11 48 p.m. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. 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 A